Hey guys, um, you're joining me here at Janet's Foss, which is this lovely little waterfall um, in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. And we're just starting off a walk where we're going to go from here, uh, climb up Gordale Scar, go all the way up to Malantarn if we've got time, and then come back and see the epic Malam Cove. And um, so stick around for that because we'll see it later, and it is massive. So I'm out with Ben Lester as well today from Ben Lester Photography. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know who he is. Um, and we're just taking some photographs of this waterfall right now. And there's quite a few different shots to try and get. So we're just playing around and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so we've got some shots here. I um, haven't really been able to talk through them just because it's so busy and treacherous around and, and slipping everywhere. There's dogs barking, so um, we're going to move on now and then we're just going to climb up out of this wood and go up to the scar where apparently there's peregrine falcons and um, chicklets up in the nests up there. So quite excited to see that. Um, but if not, we're going to scramble up the scar anyway and uh, head to higher ground, see if we can get some more scenic photos. So a few steps up from the waterfall, literally 10 steps, and then we're out of the woods and faced with this dramatic scenery behind us. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's where we're going. We're climbing right up to the top. So we've just walked up Gordel Scar, and up the valley anyway, and we've come to the end here, and it's sweeps around the corner, and then you can see the waterfall. Um, it's not very, very big today, but it's still really, really cool, and it's surrounded by these massive cliffs, huge, steep, carved glacial cliffs. Um, so we're going to go and take some shots of this little place, hopefully, um, and then we're probably going to have to scramble up it to get to the top, so it'll be quite exciting. Okay, so we've got to the waterfall, uh, Gordel Scar. And as you can see, it's not very big. There's not a lot of water here because it hasn't rained for about eight weeks, apparently. Um, but I do love all of these contrasting colours here. So the copper against the granite and like, bits of green dotted in between. Um, so the composition I'm going to go for is from the bottom here. And I'm going to try and get the bottom level in and try and get the top one in the background as well. So the bottom level is the foreground, the top waterfall is the background. Um, probably going to try and do a panorama if I need to, if I can't get away with a portrait shot. Uh, there's no sky to get in but there is a deep, deep kind of gorge behind it, um, so that might have some depth behind the top, not sure yet. Um, yeah, we're going to give it a go, there's not a lot of light in here so we'll see, might go black and white, might stay colour, who knows. Uh, so here's the image. So we're about to climb up this behind us. It didn't look that hard before they started doing it, but now they're halfway up. It does look a bit tricky, one of them got stuck. Um, so I've just had my wagon wheel for a sugar fix. Uh, we're going to pack away, we're going to put all of our camera gear away because there's no chance of filming whilst we're climbing. So I guess we'll see you at the top. Let's go! So I was going to put the cameras away, but I figured it's going to be entertaining climbing up. So we'll try and document it. Ready, Ben? Good. Let's do this. Yeah, like 
leg around it. <laughs> right, we're at the bottom. We reckon this is about 20 foot high. Um, it was a bit of an awkward climb here. Neither of us are wearing great footwear for this. Just trainers, so. Uh, push us loose. <laughs> if we die, then <laughs> tell our families we love them. <laughs> So, how are you finding the climb? It's not too bad actually. Yeah. Even than it looks. Although, looking over there, that looks even harder. Or am I wrong? Uh, let's have a look. I don't know yet. <laughs> not a bad climb though for two uh, two vloggers. This is gorgeous. It is. It's real. It's like you're just climbing into the lost world, and we're expecting dinosaurs to appear anywhere. <laughs> And we can only hope. <laughs> so we're done by this little waterfall now and we're going to climb out the top of this scar here and then we're going to head over to the cove and across the limestone paving at the top where hopefully there'll be a few more shots to come. Um, it's really cloudy and quite wet so we're hoping that it doesn't rain. Um, and if it doesn't, we should get some moody shots. Maybe some black and whites I might try. Um, so anyway, we're going to climb out and we'll see you soon. So we climbed out of the scar and we're on top of the... I don't know, on top of the hill I guess, although it's just really flat. And the views are incredible. Um, so I've just taken some shots of this tree behind me here. Not sure how they're going to come out, um, but the, the limestone crag leading up to it, as you can see like there, I thought made really good leading lines. Um, so we'll see. The lighting is abysmal though, so uh, I may go black and white. But anyway, I'll put that photo here now so you guys can see it. standing alongside it's just incredible like all the way along I really want to just get my drone out and fly it all the way through but uh, there's nesting peregrine falcons around here so I don't want to disturb them with the noise um, also it's probably against national trust rules and various other drone rules so uh, it's best not to risk it but we can't really capture it on camera very well because again it's just grey however it's stunning We're finished on top of the scar now and we're just making our way over to Malham Cove. We're not going to go up to the Tarn because time's getting on. Um, so we, we've made it to the main road and we think if we go a bit further down this hill here and then turn right, there's a path that goes to the top of the cove. And then from there, um, we'll see what we can get. Again, the light comes and goes, so we get rays of sunshine and beams of it, but it doesn't last very long, so we have to be quick. Um, it's been a nice walk, actually, a really, really nice walk. Very scenic. And I can imagine if the sun's out, it's really dramatic scenery as well. Because um, there's so many sheer cliffs and rock faces, and it's, uh, it's a really good day out. Happy we came, actually. And I think I'm happy with the photographs I got. Um, you'll know by now, because you'll have seen some of them, but um, I, think, I think I'm quite happy with a couple of them. So I'd like to get one good one from the top of the cove, maybe the bottom of the cove, lighting dependent, um, and then this will be a, a very successful day. just coming down and approaching the cove now um, so I'm just gonna come to this cliff edge here and you can see where we're going it is pretty cool but the lighting is just 
just not right. Um, it's really grey and dull. Um, it's just nothing to work with. So um, we'll go over to the top and then might be able to get some some shots of the cracks and the trees maybe. Um, but I'm not expecting miracles here. Cool, there's so many of these limestone cracks. However, looking for a, a photo is actually proving a bit more challenging because there's not really any focal points, there's nothing to shoot other than the, the actual limestone itself. So um, I may end up just taking some shots of these stones because they are cool, but I don't know, a little bit disappointed by this. Um, and shots off the top of the cove itself are tricky as well because it's just um, it's, it's just gentle valley again, there's no focal points. Um, I couldn't really get any photographs up here. It's beautiful, but the lighting and maybe just my inspiration has gone for the day. So I'm going to say goodbye. Um, but thank you very much for watching and joining us. Um, we'll be out again very, very soon. And yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out my photos on Instagram. Um, and I will see you next time.